what draws you to a job like this at such a young age? The money. That's fair. But surely you can contribute to this job in other ways rather than your desire for money. What skills can you bring to the table? I mean, I know this state very well, and I know the county even better. Cities included? I'm a little rusty on cities. A little rusty? Listen, I need to know just as well as yourself that you can 100% navigate through any city that I place you in. Ward, this is not your minimum wage shithole job down at the coffee shop. This is serious, and I need you to take this seriously. Am I clear? Scott told me you're... Excuse me, were a private eye? That's right. How many clients did you have? 72. Why'd you stop? My final client. You said you had 72 clients. That's right. All right, Ward. Who is client number 72? You're lying to me. You're fucking lying to me, Fawn! Emil, stop! You're completely out of control! Oh, I'm the one who's out of control! You're the one who didn't text back till fucking 1 a.m. last night! Dude, I was out with my friends. Am I not allowed to go you're out? You're lying through your goddamn teeth, Fawn! You were with that asshole Todd last night! You're always with him! I was with Emily and Jess. We went to the movies. I know. My goddamn cheating when I see one! All that drinking you do, it's making you delusional. Excuse me? You're psychotic. I should have left you a long time ago. Now hold on! Oh, fuck! Do you want to move this party to the back seat? Yeah, let's do it. All right.
What happened? Did you see anything? The money first, Jimmy. Sorry, bud. At least you've got closure. I loved her, man! Take care, Jimmy. I was telling you about from work. Well, he's all yours. He's dangerous, but he's dumb as hell. Scott, I'm good where I'm at. It's easy work, really. Ward, we both know you're struggling. If you come work with us, you'll be making more. Ever try living life on the edge? It's not that bad. <laughs> yeah, alright. You just keep telling yourself that. I just worry about you, man. Hold on, I think I have another client calling. This is Ward. Hey, Ward. Fawn? Look, I'm sorry. It's been a long time. You still doing that PI stuff? Can I see you? I don't want to talk about this over the phone. I can do tomorrow. Do you remember my address? Yes. I'll be waiting. I knocked. I'm guessing you didn't hear. Just let myself in. Is everything okay? I need your help. What's going on? This asshole I was seeing has always been a heavy drinker. I finally put my foot down and ended it today. So you broke up with him? I should have a long time ago. I'm, I'm glad you stood up for yourself, but why do you need me? It seems like you've already covered this. Look, I can't let him get with anyone else. You can't let him get with anybody else. Fawn, I don't- I'm not jealous. He- did terrible things to me, and when he drinks, he gets angry and physical. He tried to earlier today. I stopped him, but I'm not satisfied. You want to put him on blast, don't you? Yes. I want everyone to hate him as much as I do, but I need your help. What's his name? Emil. Jobs, hobbies? Well, that's just it. What do you mean? When I met him, he just worked at the coffee shop downtown. And then he started drinking. Because of that, he got fired from his job. He just never showed up. And during that time, he was doing something behind my back. Cheating, I assume. Yes, but I don't really care about that. Not as much as the real reason he wasn't at work. Real reason? What else was he up to? Even after I caught him, he continued to sneak out. But one night, when he came home, I was awake. What happened next? Neil, I'm sick of... What is that? Emil, please answer me. I'm tired of all these secrets and lies. If you look in that bag, I'll know. And if you do, you'll wake up without a tongue.
Do you even know what was in the bag? I don't know. Until now, I didn't even want to think about it. I can't say I blame you. Ward, I want you to get pictures of him for me, but not of him cheating. You want me to figure out what else he's doing? I want to know what was in the bag. And I want everyone to know what this sick fuck is doing. I'm asking a lot here, I know. But I can pay you much more than your usual clients. I just need to know that if you take this job, you're going to stick with it until it's done. I can help you, but I'm going to need a couple things first. Anything. You have my number. I'm going to try to go over to Emil's house and catch him in the middle of his little hobby, but I'm going to need your help guiding me through the property. I can do that. I'll also need a list of his friends. You might be able to get a peek into the second life he never told you about by talking with them. I know who you can start with. Who? Kyle, appreciate you coming on such short notice. You said you had some questions about a meal. I was wondering how close you two are. What can you tell me about the guy? We're pretty close. We've been through a lot together. Like what? Come on, Kyle. What do you know? We... Both lost a friend. I'm sorry to hear that. You mind me asking who? What do you want with a meal? Why am I here? All right, Kyle. You seem like a no bullshit kind of guy. I'll tell you how it is. I have strong reasoning to believe that Emil's a very dangerous individual. Excuse me. I have evidence directly tying Emil to a domestic dispute. Hang on. This is not what you told me over the phone. I had to get you here somehow. I'm not an idiot, you wouldn't have showed. So this is a waste of my fucking time. Kyle, trust me, it's within your best interest that you stay. I want a fucking lawyer. You don't get it, Kyle. I'm no cop. Your rights mean fuck all to me. So you really have the nerve to accuse my best friend of roughing up some bitch. That's right. And it would be wise of you to listen you could be in serious danger. I'm trying to help. You have my best interest confused. It's a good thing you ain't no cop. Maybe you should have stuck to your story. You're making a mistake. The only mistake I made was showing up here. Now put your hands behind your fucking head. Kai, I've got an idea. How about I go to a meal and tell him about your whole operation here? I'm sure that wouldn't help very much with discretion! I'm gonna slowly grab something from my jacket pocket. I will paint that fucking wall, Ward! Then paint it. Your girlfriend wouldn't like those, would she? You bastard. Images are in the cloud, Kyle. Put the gun down. Bullshit, Ward! Bullshit!
Are you ready for the proof? Do it. Kyle, I don't want anybody to get hurt. You're just here so I can get information from you, and that's it. You're home free after this. Now Kyle, I want to have a conversation. But before we can have that conversation, I'm gonna need you to lower your weapon and slide it over. You don't understand. Emil will kill me if he finds out I talked. I'm serious. Look, I can help you, and I can protect you. But before any of that, you've got to give me that gun. You help me here, and I'll see what I can do to help you, yeah? you a couple questions. I'm gonna need you to keep your shit together. Can you do that for me? Yes. You said if you talked you were a dead man. Why is that? Look, I don't know much. Emil went quiet after his brother died. How'd his brother die? I don't know. Did that have something to do with what was in that black duffel bag? <laughs> Wait. You think a meal killed him? No way in hell he'd ever do that. How'd you hear about his duffel bag? I've got reliable sources. Ah, uh, okay. Seems you've met Fawn. It seems like you have some explaining to do. What was in that bag, Kyle? Not a goddamn clue. He comes home with it late at night sometimes, but I never see it otherwise. No clue at all what's in that bag, huh? Couldn't tell you. He doesn't let me or anyone else know much of anything no more. Some friend. Any substance abuse? Well, he drinks more than his liver can handle, and... And? He dabbles in cocaine. The old white snow. Where does he get the money for that? Last time I checked, coke was an expensive little habit. You'd have to ask him yourself. What about his history with women? He'll cheat, and he'll bruise, but he keeps his girls in line. You agree with that bullshit? Why do I feel like I could answer this wrong? Cause you damn well could! No, I... I don't agree. Good answer. You spilled my drink. Seriously? Alright Kyle, we're about done here. But I need to know about this bag. Would anybody else know what's in it? If I don't know, no one does. Alright, that settles it. Kyle, it's about time for you to go. Assuming you want this back. You don't take another man's firearm. That's just disrespectful. Now Scott's a good man. Scott's a smart man. Now Scott would probably say you should do a better job picking out who your friends are. That's what you would say, right? Hey, if I find out you tell Emil 
or anyone else about this, I'll make sure Hannah finds out about you and that other girl. I won't say anything. Hey, Kyle. What? Choose better friends, dumbass. I... All right, Kyle. Fuck off now. Got some shit I gotta tell you, man. Thank you. 
I mean, he did not care about the consequences at all. I was trespassing, but he fucking shot me. Maybe I shouldn't have come here. He could have been followed. Maybe I'm putting you in danger. Fuck. Do you really think that? Do. I'm sorry, Fawn. It's okay. I have a plan. We're gonna go to Emil's house, and I'm gonna do something that's gonna piss him off. And he's gonna hit me, and you're gonna take pictures of me. You're gonna get hurt. You're gonna get fucking killed. I mean, I don't like what you're you saying. You don't tell me what to do. We made a deal, Ward. What? I don't know if I should charge her at all. Ward, you can barely afford rent. What the hell are you thinking? I owe her, Scott. Don't tell me it's that girl from last summer. Yes, it's my ex. But like I said, I owe her. It's what I would want if I was her. <laughs> you still like her, don't you? Damn it, Scott. Give it a rest, would you? Buddy, you need to switch professions. I'm not in the mood for this right now, man. Ward. I've already got a guy lined up for you. I told you this. Just some ego, hungry asshole. He's dangerous, sure, but he's dumb as hell. You would be a piece of cake for someone of such high value. And you need the money. I'll call you later, Scott.
All right, I'm just gonna go in for a couple minutes, get your pictures, and we'll get the hell out of here. I'm still not sure, Fun. This seems pretty intense. Are you scared of a little intensity? I'm scared I'll have to take you to the ER after we're finished here. Not your place. Why don't we just call the cops? I think we're in too deep here. No way. I am letting the cops get all the glory. He's mine. When this is all over, I want to try again. talk about Carter. What? I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Ward, get out of there. What? Emil Edmonds. What about him? He's listed back at work. This guy's a wanted murderer, man. He's a dead eye. He's practically a sniper. Turns out even we stay off of him. He's way too hot with the law. Oh, God. Get you and your girlfriend out of there. She's already inside. Okay, listen to me. I'm on my way right now. I'm getting in the car. Shit.
You don't know? I know enough! No, you don't. You killed her! You abused her! You! My brother's name was Carter.
Maybe you shouldn't be showing off your gun right now. You're hammered, Carter. That's sweet of you. Thank you. Jesus, I can barely understand you. Have I ever told you how pretty you are? Alright, you've definitely had too much to drink. <laughs> There's no such thing. Shouldn't you be in bed? Don't you have work tomorrow? You wanna come with me? That's enough, jackass. A meal would set you <laughs> straight. A meal? A meal? A meal is not the boss of me. You're not the boss of me. You're scaring me. Don't scream. I have a headache. Carter. Vaughn. I think you need to come to bed. Neil tells me you've been unfaithful. He's wrong. You motherfucker. You're full of shit! Am I? You're lying! She pretended to know nothing! You lying bastard! The funeral! The months that followed until the day she died! She said nothing! She didn't tell you anything. Same as me. You... Don't compare me to you! I have the proof. All of it. All the footage of Fawn and Carter. <laughs> but of course... You won't need it! See you now. How do I know you're not making this shit up? Follow me.
That's some rookie bullshit, bringing the body here like that. Did I get the damn job or not? Kid, you barely escaped alive, and your girl didn't make it out. Hell, Scott's dead. Not like he was any good at his damn job. I'm not so sure you're capable. Capability is not an issue. I disagree. You want to be a hitman? You got to understand that this right here is not exactly job well done. You have the potential to kill, but not the capability that I need. I... There's a difference, Ward, for fuck's sake. I have a target. You what? I said I have a target. He's an ego-hungry, dangerous individual, not to mention high value. Taking him out would not only bring in some cash for you and I, but it also build your reputation for your operation. All right, kid. What else do you know about this target? He's dumb as hell. You son of a bitch. Got two of them. There's two bodies here. One of them is a rival hitman. Well, O'Neill left us one hell of a mess to clean up, that's for damn sure. Oh, don't worry. I've got someone to stick the blame on. <laughs> 